Okay, it's the middle of August out here. I'm hiking for uh, trying to get in shape for elk hunting, but I wanted to show you guys a couple things on how to identify a pawpaw because about a month from now, middle of September, it should be prime time for pawpaw picking. So if you look here, it's a uh, very tropical-esque looking plant, very long low bar leaves. It really looks like it doesn't belong in uh, like the northeastern forest. I'm in Maryland. Um, intermediate leaf pattern. Uh, smooth bark for the most part. This is about an average size pawpaw around here. Unfortunately, I don't see any fruit on this one. Um, but anyway, you can get a look, good look at it. And one key to just finding pawpaws is, you know, it looks like a plant that doesn't belong or a tree that doesn't belong. But in addition, you can find lots of other pawpaws around there where the seeds have been dropped by animals. All right, here is a pawpaw. Um, see the alternate leaf pattern. These big tropical leaves is the best way I can describe it. There's a bunch of them here. I know the lighting's not the best, but uh, if I were to look for one or tell one to go out looking for them, I would almost tell people to look for something that doesn't belong. Um, this is a tropical-esque plant. It looks like a house plant kind of thing. It doesn't sort of fit in, so that's one way to identify them. Look at these big low bar leaves. Um, so then once you identify them, and you can look for the fruits, and by the time I put this video out, and probably first, second week, third week of September, they should be good to go here in Maryland. So here's a more mature pawpaw. It's about four, five inches in diameter. And you can see the bark is sort of smooth, but for me, the identification of the leaves is a much easier way to spot these guys. And again, where you find one, you will find many. I'm right in a grove. I'm trying to find you guys some fruits. It's a little early, but uh, I should definitely be able to see more fruits than I'm finding, which worries me for uh, the crop this year, but they're definitely in here. Okay, I finally found a pawpaw fruit. You can see there's one there right in the middle of the screen. Um, a lot of times they grow in groups of two or threes. There's one there. Uh, it's about average size. It's not a very large one, but it's still got, a, I don't know, 30 days of growing probably. And you can see they're, they're really hard to spot from the ground, especially with the, the foliage on the trees right now. Okay, one last thing to add. Um, again, pawpaws, I, I didn't mention earlier, they like well-drained soil, but it can be a little bit wet. So if you're near a stream, an old stream bed or something like that, that's a good place to find pawpaws. And as, like I mentioned earlier, once you can find one, you're going to find many. So there's a nice little grove of them right here. And hopefully we'll come back a month and uh, we'll find some fruits. Okay, so we're here. We finally found our uh, target species, the pawpaw. Um, I'll try to get a better lot shot of the branches. Um, you can see they're big teardrop-like leaves, alternate pattern, smooth brown bark on the trunk, and... You gotta look up for the fruits, they're up there. I, uh, oh, here's a small one right here, right above the trail. You see it, you see it right there. And uh, I've already picked some and I'll show you what they look like when we get home. Okay, so special treat today. Uh, we went out and picked our pawpaws this fall. I saved some, saved some of the meat from the pawpaws. It's got a very distinct taste as I described earlier, it's sort of like a mix between a banana and a mango. I, I love them, my, my family's somewhat indifferent about them. So today I'm gonna make some pawpaw -paw ice cream. This is actually uh, my dessert for my wild game dinner this year. I'm, I'm having a colonial theme, so I'm trying to make it as the colonists would. So uh, I'm gonna keep this real simple. I got our pawpaw -paw meat here, I'm gonna put the food processor. It's been in the freezer, let it thaw out for a bit. Stick this in here and let that thaw out some more. I got a half cup of sugar. You could use a sugar substitute. Um, if you like, I got a half cup of sugar. Um, I'm gonna do a cup of light cream. You could use heavy cream or milk as a substitute here. I'm gonna do just a cup of cream. Again, this is light cream, still pretty heavy, pretty rich. Um, and let, it's important, very, very important to keep this cold. I'm gonna put this in the freezer overnight. I'm just going to do a, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'll let the food processor, a little light on the vanilla, the food processor work its magic. And I'll show you here in a minute. All right, I figured I'd save you a couple of minutes of the food processor grinding up the uh, frozen pawpaw and the other ingredients. So I'm gonna take this out of here. I'm gonna freeze it overnight in the freezer. Uh, the only thing I'm regretting right now is that I, I didn't pick more pawpaws, but I won't make that mistake again this fall. Um, this stuff looks really good. It's really thick. And here it's, it's still got some fiber to it, so it's going to be like a, I don't know, like a mango, mango ice cream or sorbet, I guess, is what, what I envisioned. Uh, let's show you here what it looks like. 
it's pretty thick. Again, I'm gonna, can you see that? It's gonna come out thick here. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, beautiful. That's gonna be so good. And I get the liquid, oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Didn't want that to happen. All righty, I'll uh, let you know with a taste test. Unfortunately, I lost my footage for the taste test. You'll just have to take my word that it was more than excellent. I also wanted to share the story of this painful little creature I ran into while filming this series. Ooh, what the heck was that? That stung the crap out of me. Oh, that's a saddleback. I just got stung by a saddleback. Jesus. That thing, that's going to hurt bad. So I was just out here filming everyone how to identify a pawpaw uh, plant. There's some pawpaws right here. And just by chance, the one pawpaw I happened to pull down has a saddleback caterpillar on the bottom of it. And it got my arm pretty good. I don't know if you can see it already. It's starting to turn red. It hurts. But uh, fortunately, it's just a small saddleback, um, but something to keep an eye out for. And there's Mr. Saddleback right there. Can't get it to focus, but it did not feel good. Fortunately, it's a small one.